Welcome Sunset Motors. My name is Frank Gerard. We're located in West Tennessee. Got a beautiful 2021 Tiffin Allegro Red Class A motorhome. This is the floor plan 33AA. It's Allegro Red. Red stands for rear engine diesel. Beautiful gold coral full body paint. Get your ladder to access your roof. The roof is fiberglass, which is really nice. It's got the solar panel, the InMotion satellite. You've got your 10,000 pound towing package. This is powered by the 360 Cummings diesel with the Allison transmission. That's a great power plant in this size motorhome. This is 35 feet, two inches long. It's a great package it's small enough you can go into a lot of campground it's maneuverable if you got a smaller shop you'll fit in in it easier and it drives and handle very nice it's on the Freightliner chassis it's got nice LED daytime running lights I'll show you a picture of that lately or later and here's come here my wife she's gonna help us out you've got the trademark window here on on the door so you can see if, if there's a car below you. Also, the pets really like that. You've got 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels with some Michelin tires. It's got the air suspension, automatic leveling system. Got all your batteries for your, that's for your inverter. This is an all electric coach, no propane. It's got a 2000 watt inverter, pure sign. It runs the whole coach with that. Got your outside TV with the sound bar and the TVs are all LG and they're smart so here's your inverter there's some rugs for the steps inside and the cockpit area if you want to put a rug I'd rather not have a rug but it comes with one this is the ladder for the bed above the cockpit this is motion activated but anyway here's your inverter switch house battery solar battery controller you got a 12 volt outlet and a 120 in case you want to put a cooler outside you can put a cooler freezer in here got another outlet and it does have central vac there's your access to your water tank i kind of like that because it's sometimes it's not accessible you got all your sensors you can actually fill up the water from here if you want to i just like the fact that you can get to it and they're heated tanks too on the holding tanks. This is nice too. Access to the rear refrigerator. It's got a household refrigerator. Beautiful wheels. There's your chassis batteries. Those are the batteries that controlled the engine. Some more computers, a little storage, motion activated lights. Nice storage. Got a 50 amp hookup. It's got a surge protector built in on the transfer switch. Got a, I believe it's 12 and a half gallon death fluid tank. There's a gauge on the tank itself, and there's one on the inside on the dash. There's your water closet. Very easy to operate. Nothing. Nothing complicated here. You got your black water drain, your gray water, your shower for outside. You can fill up your tank with this lever, your water pump. You even got an outlet here, water filtering system, your pump, your drain, a little soap. And you can even have another solar panel hooked up here. That's where you put your water hose and your paper towel. And this tray here, which I didn't show on the other side, but it'll... oh, I gotta fix that. Uh, this slides in and out. And how about an aqua hot system, which is unusual on the coach on this side. This is what you see on the bigger coach and more expensive coach, but this is basically a 
It makes unlimited hot water. It's on demand. It runs uh, off the diesel fuel. It's like a furnace. And also you got electric element. So it runs off electric and diesel. And I just serviced this, so it runs great. This is your hydraulic system for your slides and your leveling system. It's got a uh, 100 gallon fuel tank. How about that on a smaller coach? That's really nice. Gives you a lot of range and it fills up on both sides. And here's some fuses, breakers, and the release for the generator. And also you've got an air hookup. Air up some tires or use some power tools. There's your generator. I believe it's 8,000 watts. Plenty of power to run this coach. It's only got 242 hours, been serviced, ready to go. The nose got the, the clear bra in the front of it to protect it. Very good condition. Windshield's nice, no issues. Let's go inside and see what we got. And this is one of the main reasons I got it because I really like this leather. Ultra leather. A lot of new ones have the vinyl seats. It feels kind of plasticky, but this is really nice, soft, and it won't stick to your legs. This is actually called the white maple. White it's maple. The color. It's very pretty. As you can see, it just accents the whole coach. Yep. You have the amber glaze wood cabinetry, which is very pretty. And the floors are called vicinity, and they're a matte finish. And they're heated. How about yeah, that? Yeah, and they're heated. So it makes it real easy to take care of, just to swip them off and you're ready to go. I love these floors. And look at this big couch. And that pulls out as a bed, right? Yes, and it has an air mattress in it. It's really nice. And it's a long couch. You could actually just lay right here and go to sleep. And I love this little chair right here. And it has a hand over here. How about that? Yeah, very nice. Sit and watch TV. And then you've got your TV here. It's on a elevator we don't this have the best signal because we're inside a middle building and they're smart tvs too and what's this called they actually call this a dining bar so and it has the uh elevator tv with it and you can use this as a workstation that is so much space i know i love this for the kitchen you can use it to prepare food this right here can actually come up look at this isn't this cool I just love this. And then you can turn the chairs around. So, I mean, this is so cool. You've got underneath here, you've got trays that slide That is some wide chairs. I know. Isn't this great? This is the first one we've had like this. And I have to tell you, I absolutely love it. It's versatile. You yeah. can set it up the way you want it. Yeah, and you don't even have to use it if you don't want to. You can leave this and, and just use the bar. Solid Corian countertop. It's I get that. Too. I was pushing the wrong thing. It's really easy. Oh, okay. Oh. I was just pushing the wrong button. Watch, you got it. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. I love it. And look at this. Well, I'm over. Oh. We've got all these outlets here for your workstations. I love USB. that. USB. I was going to show them the cabinetry. All real wood. All the books, good quality. It's hard to find lately in these newer ones. They're going to that veneer, fake stuff. This is really nice. Nice contemporary colors. And I buy electric fireplace, gotta have that. It also serves a purpose to help heat up the coat. So you can just yep. turn that on to get the chill out. And with the aqua hodge, you've got little floor vents. They come out right here. Right there so you get heat from the hot water system you get heat from the heated floor heat from the electric fireplace and also you've got two 15,000 watt uh 15,000 BTU heat pumps in the ceiling usually they're 13 five so you got two 15,000 and they work as heat pumps so you got three sources of heat my favorite is the floor because you can actually heat the whole coach with the floor yeah. if it's not too cold 
about this kitchen area? This kitchen is awesome. I love, you've got a nice stainless steel double sink, which is awesome. Once again, you have all these outlets. I mean, that's something you can never have too many outlets. And you've got them underneath the cabinets too. So you can you plug up your them. coffee maker. I mean, that's incredible. You got a nice induction. Cooktop. Cooktop. You just need some special pans for that. Yes. Yep. And how about a dishwasher? And this one is kind of different. It pulls out. Usually it's a drawer that you pull out. But, oh, um, that is, is different. Nice. I love it. It's a little bit easier to load. And a residential refrigerator. LED lights. And everything's nice and clean. We sanitize, clean, and scrub everything. Make it better than you. So. Got a nice microwave convection. We have a turning table. Got a vent here. And there's the bath. Got solid wood doors. And a good size shower. Again, for a smaller motorhome. I've seen some smaller shower and bigger motorhome. Now you've got a skylight up here too. You can open that up. Get your van. It's a nice size bathroom. Yeah, and the commode is in a good spot. Very nice. You gotta show them the pantry. Yeah. You also have this really nice double pantry. You can adjust these shelves to however you want. You've got two of those. And this is cool right here. You have shelves here, and then you have some little bars where you can adjust it they to. They use every little square inches. Yeah. This do. is your touch control for everything. This is how you control your heated floor, your lights, climate. Uh, these are your fans, your slides. It's got four slides. Very easy to operate. The tanks are empty. Well, the gray tank is empty, but sometimes those things are not accurate. You got to move to get that going. All right, here's the bedroom. Isn't this nice? And I love the carpet on the floor. A lot of people don't like carpet on the floor, but I love it because when you get up, your feet are automatically warm, and this is very nice. It's very clean. It's yeah. been clean, so. Well, the carpet wasn't yeah. dirty at all. It's very nice. And then you got room on each, plenty of room on each side of the bed to walk and make the bed. It makes it easy to make the bed up. And then you've got USB ports. And then you've got a 110 here and then some controls up here. Reading lights. Yeah, some beds are hard to make because you got no room, but this yes. one. And a ceiling fan. And that's a necessity for me. And how about a wash and dryer? It's amazing how they have all this stuff in this motorhome. They pack it, but it's it's all well laid out. But yet it's still roomy. Yes. And these are splendid washer and dryer. This is the best one you can get. These actually work really well. And then you've got a closet. I like the fact it's got a vent in it because it will get warm back here because of the engine. So that vent kind of helps circulate the air and it's got motion activated lights. And I'm six foot and I'm on this hump and there's about probably four inches still of clearance. There's so quite a bit. It feels pretty roomy in here. You got nice it's got a huge drawers. TV. Hamper. Gotta have that. It's got the emotion satellite, so it does come with a receiver, but more than likely you have to get your own. You just call dish and they'll hook you up. Beautiful TVs, lots of storage. Again, I really like this finish. This color scheme is definitely not going to go out of stock. Yeah, this is timeless right here. Feels bigger than it is. I mean, it's very roomy. You could have kids in here, another couple. 
And there's a unique feature on this one. Let's not forget about this. This is a bed that comes out. I can't do it holding the camera, but I'll take a picture. But there's one bed that comes down. It's just for one person, but that makes one little mattress. Yeah. The kids will love that. It comes with a ladder. It's like a little bunk bed. Yeah, very cool. All right, here's the cockpit. It's got the modern dash. They made them really nice. Got the smart wheel with all your controls up here. Trip, cruise, and the shift is all right here. Reverse, neutral drive, exhaust brake. Everything is right here. It's very easy to drive. It's all electronic. And we'll go ahead and, whoops. Well, we probably don't need to crank it up. It's only got 13,300 miles. And how about, oh, I need to turn that off for copyright. How about a full tank of diesel and a full tank of def? I can guarantee you if you buy from any other RV dealer, you will not get that. But I do make sure that you're full before you leave so you don't have to stress out about that on the way out. Automatic headlights, there's your brakes. It's got air horn, there's your leveling system. Just push one button. Uh, it's got adjustable power pedals. I do like the fact it's got two separate screens. So you got your radio on one screen, your nav, and then your camera. You got your backup camera and you got your blinkers, you know, left and right camera. Uh, I guess I need to turn that off. There we go. That's the step cover for over here. Solar shade, night shade. You can start your generator from here. My plight. This is for the radio to work with the ignition off. It's got a real nice dash air. Nice and cold. There's some extra keys. Um, go ahead and turn that on. Yeah, you want to show them the... This, this thing has the recliner, the, yeah. the foot thing. This is awesome, and it's a very nice size seat, too. Look. You can lay back, get your iPad going. Or... Leave all the driving to you. That's right. That's usually what I do. <laughs> These door handles, I think they, light they light up. I guess when we turn the light, to open the door first. But Well, you think we forgot anything in here? Probably because there's so much this little modern home has to offer. It's a great motor home with a great floor plan. I love it. And it drives really good. It's quiet, smooth, easy to maneuver. I drove it 900 miles and drove like a dream. Also, we, we go through these motor homes. Uh, we try every system, fix anything needs fixing, service. And we make sure they're ready to go. It's been waxed, detailed, serviced, and it's ready to go camping tomorrow. But this is your first motorhome, and even though if it's not, I'll make sure I spend as much time as necessary to make sure you're comfortable before you leave. And I'm also here after the sale. You get my cell phone number, and you can call anytime, and I'll do my best to help you out. We do offer extended warranties, which I recommend and competitive financing is also available. And we do take trade-ins. To see if this Allegro Red is still for sale, you can go to my website, sunsetmotors.com. If it's on the website, it's for sale. If not, you're too late and it's gone. Oh, it's got the Gerard awnings too, which is unusual on the motorhome like this. The, even the slides have those. These are the best you can get. And it's got a big one on the outside, so that's the good quality. They're not cheap. Did we forget something? We probably did. Um, just, I love this color scheme. This gold is so pretty. Yeah, that is nice. I just love it. It almost looks like a piece of jewelry, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just beautiful. Thank you for all of our YouTubers for watching our video. And just make sure you give us a call and like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.